At 25 years old, Grace Dowling has spent a decade working in the hospitality industry, where she's experienced and witnessed multiple cases of sexual harassment. She's not the only one, with the Human Rights Commission reporting one in three people have been sexually harassed at work in the past five years. Nothing that would break my heart more than seeing someone in, in 10 years from now stand up here and say that they've been doing it for a decade and they're still experiencing harassment in the workplace. And the state government is doing something to prevent that, announcing a task force to tackle the issue. The current system is not working. Uh, the numbers of people that are, that are uh, experiencing this kind of behaviour in the workplace um, tells us that we need to do more. While it's women who predominantly suffer sexual harassment at work, the task force will also look at other vulnerable groups, like the LGBTQIA plus community. Recommendations will aim to make it easier for victims to speak out and to prevent harassment from occurring in the first place. It is incredibly sobering uh, on International Women's Day to reflect on those shocking statistics. The task force will seek to overhaul the system, creating a mandatory reporting process for employers to notify WorkSafe of sexual harassment complaints. The recommendations will apply to both the public and the private system, but it's unlikely they'll apply to the parliament itself. That will be covered by a code of conduct for MPs that's currently being written. The parliament is its own unique work environment with a lot of uh, unique um, factors around um, power dynamics, power imbalances. Every worker, regardless of where they work, deserves to work in an environment that is free from sexual harassment. The task force should report back to Parliament by the end of the year. Dana Morse, ABC News, Melbourne.